In the aftermath of the Tucson mass shooting, the CBS News program 60 Minutes aired a segment profiling the background of Jared Loeffner, the 22-year-old man charged in the case. The segment included a clip from the 2001 film Waking Life and an interview with two former friends who said Loeffner was obsessed with the movie. Only on KXA and Austin News, Jim Swift tells us that stirred up some powerful memories and some powerful concerns for one of the Waking Life actors living here in Austin. These are paintings and drawings done by students that I've worked with over the years. J.C. Shakespeare is a therapist who counsels struggling teenagers. There's a whole host of, of ailments and things that are wrong in their life, but you look at this and it's just incredible beauty expressed through those beings. But back in 1999, when Austin filmmaker Richard Linklater was working on his Waking Life project, Shakespeare was an actor and a stand-up comedian. I heard from a friend, they said, hey, they're looking for people to go in and you're just supposed to rant about something. So I said, I can do that. That's, that's what I do all the time. Shakespeare got a role in the movie, which was about a guy who wanders through a kind of dream state, encountering a wide variety of people and their philosophies. Shakespeare's character, self-destructive man. Self-destructive man feels completely alienated. When CBS News 60 Minutes program reported that accused Tucson shooter Jared Loeffner was obsessed with waking life and used a clip of Shakespeare's scene to make the point, the former actor cringed. It was a jarring experience, and my first instinct was, wow, words that I helped put into creation and spoke into existence have been taken by another person and turned into something really, really dark and horrible. And that was, uh, it was like being punched in the gut, you know? It was like, oh, n no, no, that's not what you're supposed to do when you watch this movie. You're supposed to think. Man wants chaos. In fact, he's got to have it. Depression, strife, riots, murder. Do you regret? Your role in the movie? No, I don't. I don't at all. It was it, it, at the time it was the best thing that that had happened to me at that point. Um, what I do regret was seeing my words on 60 Minutes and the way they framed the story made it look like he loved this guy in this movie and that's why he went and shot those people. Let my own lack of a voice be heard. Shakespeare acknowledges torment in his own life at the time of the filming. But he says he has grown so much since then. That's the message that I want to get out there. That's what I do every day with the kids that I work with. I help them find something that's meaningful to them personally so that they can rise above the things that are holding them back and, and taking them to dark places and work towards something positive instead of getting dragged down by everything that's negative around them. In western Travis County, Jim Swift, KXAN, Austin News.